welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am deriving some of the relationship of the measurement of effective diameter by base to wire size methods so let us start with the base to wire size methods so for that the measuring and effective diameter always preferred a base to wire should be so for that the diameter suitable for any particular screw thread should be such that the wire touches the thread onto the straight portion only so let us see the effective diameter can be measured with the wire having any diameter which may contact onto the true flank of the threads the provided threads angle should be correct so the effective diameter calculated with the help of any wire touches with the true flanks which is differ from that obtained by using a wire of the base size so if there is a no errors into angles of the threads so now we will see how we can define as a base wire size if we are selecting the maximum size so that axis it will be not passes through the wire diameter so in case of the base wire so that will be contact onto the true flank of the threads so the center positions it will be considering as a base wire size diameter now we will see the some of the geometry for the base wire size over here so the base wire size for the given screw thread is a wire having its diameter such that it would contact the screw thread exactly onto the pitch point as shown into the figure so now in case of the base wire size at point d the wire touches the flank of the thread lies onto the pitch line or can say effective diameter so by using this kind of relationship we would like to derive the relations for the base wire size so just you can concentrate over here so in from the figure oc and od perpendicular to the cg and dg at the point c and t which lies onto the pitch line or you can say onto the effective diameter so now considering a triangle oad so the angle aod that should be equal to 90 minus theta by 2 so just apply the sign so sign angle aod that should be equal to ad upon od so sin 90 theta by 2 equal to ad upon od so sin 90 minus theta by 2 that will be converting into the cos theta so cos theta by 2 equal to ad upon od so now simplify od is equal to ad upon cos theta by 2 so finally you will get od is equal to ad into sec theta by 2 so that will be indicating as a equation number a so now od that will be representing as a radius or you can say d by 2 and 4 base wire size so that will be indicating as a db and it will be indicating as a base wire diameter of the wires so and ad we already derived the relations with respect to the pitch so the value of ad that will be indicating as a p by 4 so just you can see over here all the relationships of the ad and od we already derived now the substituting the value of od and ad into equation number a so we get db by 2 that should be equal to p by 4 sec theta by 2 then simplify this one and finally you will get db is equal to p by 2 sec theta by 2 so that will be the equation we are using for the base to size wire method to measure the effective diameter so in this equation base wire diameter in terms of the pitch and the thread angle theta and we are considering for the matrix thread so theta equal to 60 so the put the value of theta equal to 60 and you will get the relations db that should be equal to 0.577 into p for the base wire diameter and for the widthward thread just you can change of the theta because with your widthward thread it will be equal to 55 degree and you will having a 
more relations for the withward thread. So base to wire diameter for withward thread that will be 0.5636 into P. So that all are the relations of the base to wire size for measurement of an effective diameter. So if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials.